Welcome back to anyone who's watching. Uh, now I'm going to be doing a quest for a Yagudo torch, and it starts here talking to this person. I'm helping Verena and Fiki grow flowers. We water them everywhere every day. I sure hope they bloom soon. Hi, Fiki. Hi, Verena. Sorry about that. Had to close my door. So, still no sprout, huh? I know. It's such a bummer armor. I water them every, every day, though. They'll never grow. Water them all you want. No way Ficky's seeds will ever sprout here in Juno. Ever. Look, why don't you just hush? You never know till you try. Oh, you're always on Ficky's side, aren't ya? I think they'll sprout. Huh? Everyone talks to me now that I've planted them. That makes me so happy. So, even if the flowers never bloom, it was still good. Vicky. Whatever. I have to get back to Mux. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <sighs> Take care, Flickbix. I'm going home too. I hope they sprout you out tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for everything. And thanks for bringing the fertilizer, Giva. Whatever. I'm not doing it for you. And now we have to go down to Lovers, you know. And speak to another person. A goblin, I believe. Spoiler alert. There was a teleport point right near her, wasn't there? So I'm going to the gobby bag shop. And we are going to talk to Mokvix, who is supposed to be in here somewhere. Maybe he's in this door. Mokvix door. Okay. Helpful.
Castle Ostroja. What are you gonna go there for? Well, you can go get <sighs> killed for all I care. Ain't got nothing to do with me. But hey, you gotta have a Yagudo torch to get in there, and not just any old torch. You need a special one from a tree on the Soromog Champagne. And what do you know, we're all out of the stuff. Maybe Ficky's got some extra. He stops by Estroza once in a while. He's out on the streets again, ain't he? I can never figure out why he's gotta be so buddy-buddy with all them people. Buck, I'm home. Well, speak of the devil. Hey, you got a Yagado torch on ya? Yeah, I've got one. Well, cough it up for this sweetheart right here. No problem. I was just going to head out to Castle Estrosia right now. Hey, what are you trying to say? I never asked you to head out there. I was just playing with you, Verena. But she's feeling down. And I know why. The beasties outside town are getting restless. That makes Verena worried. So I'm going to Estrosia and ask them to settle down. I think the beasties outside can get along with people, like I could with Verena. I really believe so. Yeah, maybe you got a point there. Well, I'm off. Hey, Ficky. Yeah, I'm Buck. You be careful out there. I'll be okay. They listen to me. Yeah, my generation can't forget the war, so it's real hard to relate. But you kids don't remember none of that, so I think you can bridge the gap. Yeah, for all of us. Ficky? Is Ficky here? Hey, you just missed him. Said something about going to Castle Estrosia. You didn't send see him on your way in here. No, it's just... Some adventurers said they were going out to hunt beastmen, so I got so worried. I always told him to stay here in town. I told him if people found him in a dungeon somewhere, they might mistake him for a bad beast man, and then they'd... Ain't nothing you can do. That kid's a beastie, and even the people in this town give us the cold shoulder. Well, he don't belong out there, none neither. But I still think he's safer out there than in here. I'm so worried about him. That girl understands things only us beasties do. Maybe Ficky and her can break down the walls that keep us apart. I just hope they'll watch out for those guys craving that mysterious power. Oops. Hey, forget about it. <laughs> okay, so. I apologize that now I'm going to cut the stream for a few minutes to grab an item because I'm once again I'm really just recording these snippets so that Miro can put them so Sassery can put them on his uh, his YouTube and stuff like that to go with our Final Fantasy playthrough so I will be back in